Welcome back to Teaching Technology. Today we are going to do a comprehensive overview of AVG and why I use it as my personal favorite antivirus software. Before we do that, let's go over some of the details. Number one, what are some common threats? So the first threat is spoofing. That is an attack with the goal of gaining access to a target system through the use of falsified identities. In that case, they can get access to your MAC address, your IP, your username, or your system. The next one is phishing. You guys are probably familiar with phishing when somebody gives you a call and they say you want a certain amount of money or somebody sends you an email thinking, you know, making you think they're the CIA or the FBI and that you have to give some type of money or personal credentials in exchange. The next one is DDoS or a DOS attack. This is denial of service attack where network resources uh, consume the attack uh, firewall, consume the firewall, and it prevents legitimate activity on victimized systems. Next is a virus. That's the uh, it's malicious code that will plague your security systems. So uh, two functions are propagation and destruction. The next one is worms. These are network security threats with destructive potential as other malicious code objects with other twists propagate without human interaction. Next one is a Trojan attack. That's a program that can be a good application carrying malicious software behind the scenes that can wreck or cause havoc to your machine. Next is a side channel attack. That's a passive, non-invasive attack to observe operations of a device, monitoring timing and fault analysis. So now that we know some common attacks, why AVG? Well, you look at the idea of intrusion, uh, monitoring, versus prevention, right? You look at things like, you know, a host base IDS, which is just an intrusion detection system that can be put on your computer, or an NIDS, which is would be a network-based intrusion detection system for attacks or system anomalies. Then you have scans, which evaluate effectiveness of security controls. The thing with antivirus software is instead of just merely identifying and also prevents attacks. And that is why we utilize something like AVG. So let's get into what we're going to do today. So first, let me show you how you would download AVG. I have it right here. You can either do the free download or you can buy now. Depending on your system operations, uh, you might want to utilize this option. So, after you've downloaded it, let's go to some of the features of AVG. So when you download AVG, you're going to get a multiplicity of apps. The first one is the internet security. So here you have the ability to run a smart scan. It will tell you any issues found, maybe privacy issues, malware, or any advanced issues. Like in my case, we have a couple resumes, that could be primary uh, utilized for attacks because they're unprotected. Click here, resolve all, and it will resolve everything. Next, you have the secure browser. So you can download the secure browser and utilize that for your IP, or you can utilize some kind of a VPN. I opt to go with NordVPN but you can choose to do whatever you'd like to do. So now we're just going again over AVG Internet Security. Here, I'm not gonna upgrade, but you can upgrade if you wanna get more breach guard and security features as well, such as 24 seven monitoring, protect your account with extra layer of security, and you get real time alerts of any privacy info or password leaks. So now let's go to, and you can install the secure browser. I'm just going to install it just to give you a look on what, it's, what it is. Next, we have the tune-up. What's fundamental about the tune-up is consistency. You want to run this maintenance option at least three times. You want to either do it once a day or once a week. And then again, my IP address is visible, but I utilize NordVPN 
So I'm totally fine here. So this is the maintenance option. You want to run this every four hours, depending on your security features. Best practice would be to run it every four hours and then do a complete restart. So what does it do? Well, you're going to protect your privacy information. It deletes cookies from websites that can be used to track you. It will clear your browsing history. Clear any system junk that frees up disk space. It ensures that any broken shortcuts are quickly resolved and or deleted. And also deletes and fixes PC problems by deleting broken entries in your Windows registry. So we're going to click on fix and clean. Again, you want to run this three times. Because sometimes it will miss things. So you want to run it at least three times. So it's two. See, browsing history was not completely deleted. And that's number three. Then if you can optimize your system, here is what AVG Secure Browser looks like. So it just offers you a little bit more security. And you can connect the VPN. We don't have a VPN uh, with Nord, or sorry, we have a VPN with Nord, so we're not going to be encrypted with them specifically. But it's always important to have VPN just so that no one can track your IP. So let's move on to the next AVG element. We do the tune-up. Let's do the breach card next. And our Wi-Fi is down. Let's make sure Wi-Fi is still up. Yeah, Wi-Fi is up. Uh, one breach guard sending this in. Let's go to the next feature. to be the driver updater. So you have three outdated drivers. And now we just updated our drivers. Another great feature I like about AVG is let's say you go to a malicious site, it will immediately block any kind of malware on the site. I think that's very key because you can't control exactly where people go in their you know, own time with their site usage. So when you have a system like AVG that will block any malware on whatever site you're on, I think that's very, very key. So we've done soon up. Now we have anti-track. So what it does is it has a protection over website tracking. It's going to protect my usage and give me a full report on any potential tracking items. And it happens about once a day. Uh, 
fights against any tracking attempts with any websites I've been on. Protects all of my browsers. Does routine browser cleanups. I like to do it daily. Clear all browser data. So it's cookies and autofill data. Another key element that I like to do, just an extra layer of protection, is I like to go with DuckDuckGo as my premier search engine. Just as an additional security element, fights against tracking. So we're clearing these files, clear that browser data. Zero live websites, let's go to system privacy. Keep activities private, protect specific files and data, and improve the computer's login security. Those are all checked. And we've updated our, our drivers. We've done the internet security. We've downloaded the secure browser. We've done the tune up and the anti track. So that was just a simple overview on how to utilize AVG and the reasons why.